Welcome to part 9 of building a dynamic community website using PHP, MySQL, and Flash created by Flash Building and brought to you by developphp.com. In the last lesson we left off by creating the view profile button functionality and creating the view uh, the profile.php page which is the universal page that is used for any time anybody's profile has to get viewed on the site and so let's go back into flash here and we're going to put up the functionality now for the edit profile button and that will complete all three buttons here on the header for the logged in user so let's give this button edit profile button an instance name of edit underscore btn and it's going to be a very simple matter to go into the third keyframe here press F9 on the actions layer there and copy all the code from that last button we created in the last tutorial just those few lines there then I pasted them in right under that section of lines and I'm going to rename all this to edit so it'll say code for the edit profile button instead of code for the view profile button and I'm going to change these words to edit or else we'll get duplicate variable name and uh, functions here if we don't change it. So anything that says view profile should be edit profile. This should say edit. This should say edit. And this is going to this one should say edit to. And this one's going to a new URL of edit underscore profile which we haven't created yet. I'm going to create that now. So that's pretty much all the functionality you need for all three of those buttons now. And it's all in this one keyframe, the third keyframe on the Action Script 3 layer. And they're sectioned off pretty good so you can see what's going on. It's pretty clean. And uh, since there's only three buttons, we don't have to do a huge. Uh, button array or set a dynamic loop for rendering out the buttons and their click functionality because it's not really necessary. If you had a whole stack of buttons, like 20 buttons, you know, more than six or seven buttons, then it's handy to do that. But if you have less than five buttons, it's no problem. Okay, so let's go to Dreamweaver. And here we have profile.php, which we created in lesson number eight. And we're going to rename this, save it as, file save as edit underscore profile. Now we have a new PHP script called edit profile.php. And it's pretty obvious what this one's going to do. The user's going to be able to edit their profile on this page. So, first thing we want to do is make sure we do a login check because we don't want anybody coming to this page if they're not logged in we want to say hey you're not logged in get out of here or go register and join so we'll go ahead and do that first so right here where it says session start we're going to add under that so I just automatically added it in and you'll see I have claiming session start to grab any session variables that are present for this logged in user then we run an if condition here. This condition is nested in these one, two, three, four, five, six lines, and it says if is not set session ID, then we give the message to user saying only site members can do that. Register or join here. And we give them a link to the register page. Then we include message to user.php and immediately exit the script if they're not logged in. <coughs> so this message here that's in HTML format there you can see gets sent to the message dot or message to user dot PHP and that page is brought in and this page this script exits right away so none of this other code will process so that ends the login check that line right there okay so now they if they are logged in it's business as usual so we connect to the database uh, using our include script and then we don't need these 
if and else statements that we had in the regular profile.php page so we can just zap all that out but we do want to keep that ID that session ID right there and I'll tell you what that's doing in just a second so what this is doing this line here is placing the session ID variable into a local PHP variable which does not need to be filtered so we can remove these two lines because it's not a posted or URL variable it's a session variable that can't be uh, manipulated by the by the user okay so or by the member and then what we're going to do is take that ID and run an SQL statement or an SQL, SQL query selecting all fields from the uh, my members table where ID equals this user's ID and then we run a while loop we set a while loop to run in that um, SQL query array and then all of the items will come out and we can access them and put them into local PHP variables here like we did in the in the last tutorial for the profile page and we don't need the last login date for this section uh, we don't even need the sign up date to show them in this section we don't need the email we should, shouldn't really ever show anybody's email any of your members emails directly on their their email address shouldn't be laid out directly on their profile most sites uh, do a in-house commenting system to where members can get in touch with one another or they put the comments just like YouTube does right on the page there or MySpace you know or Facebook right on the wall okay so and maybe actually I will show something like that in this tutorial series I'll show you how to do a, a comment area on the person's page on their profile so each member will have a section where other members can leave comments for them <clears throat> so here we're gonna access all these variables yes 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 and maybe uh, I'm gonna change a couple of things because one of the members that joined Web Intersect already asked me why I was gathering phone numbers and that's a good question I have no need to gather anybody's phone numbers and it's in the database that field so I'm gonna remove that database field that column and, and put a new column in there or a new field name and use it for something else and I'm gonna show you how to do that maybe not next uh, the next part of the series but a couple of parts down where we'll need to do that before we get in any heavier okay so here we're gonna keep all these same mechanisms we don't need the style sheet link actually that should be up top because they're gonna need to access that so that should be up here maybe the phone can be traded out for the style sheet preferences okay so we'll just add that there for now even though we don't have anything in the database to access that information so we'll just comment it out but we're gonna use it and what else do we have here okay now we're gonna change some things in the HTML section now that we're done changing what we need to change in the PHP section of this page because basically we want to grab all this data put it into forms and have them be able to to edit it edit all the data real time on this page kinda of like uh, MySpace and YouTube and all that does it's not gonna be as fancy as those guys it's just gonna be base functionality I don't have all year okay so yeah we're gonna change the HTML stuff now okay so we want to make sure we don't get any duplicate description and keyword tags here in our head section of the HTML file or the HTML section here and so we'll just put web intersect website profile edit area for this user's name and keywords will be edit profile data 
information. We don't need their city and country and state in that one. Okay, so those will all be unique. Web intersect. Change this to edit profile area for username. We'll just put the first name in that one. Actually, no. Nope. Leave the last name there. Actually, there would be duplicates if uh, John Smith joined a bunch of times. Then all these tags would say web intersect profile editor for John Smith. So maybe we should add something in there like their ID or something to make them all unique. You can do whatever you like to make sure your system runs right. There's, there's going to be a lot of things you have to address that I don't address here in this tutorial series. There's going to be a whole lot more research that you'll have to get into if you build a serious system that's running online with live users. You'll have to learn a lot more. Okay, so but I'm going to show you the base functionality to you know maybe get pe people excited enough to go and learn the whole gambit. Okay, so print style sheet. This is going to turn to main.css back to main.css our default style sheet. And okay. So let's go to design view. Now here in design view, let's take that table. This was the one that we used for uh, the profile page it's still here on this HTML section of the new page we're gonna put two columns we can get rid of this PHP include there actually uh, now we'll leave that there and this column here will be for a button an edit button that way they can have a button that corresponds to each section that we put in here. So we're going to go to this PHP include, make sure it's going to bring in the picture, that's what we want. And then right next to it, we're going to have an upload form. So to keep the videos uh, relatively uh, short, I'm going to stop and we're going to continue in part 10 where we'll continue on with the edit profile page and lay in the things that we need to lay in and I'm quickly going to show you how to make that change in the database field like I was talking about before okay so see you in part 10 and I'll just continue it on right now so there's not too much of a time lapse here